new package here. So I've actually been getting a ton of requests for a lower dose caffeine pre-workout, which is just bizarre to me because we're all caffeine addicts. So in this new formula here, I upgraded glycerol from two to three, and I also went down from 350 milligrams of caffeine to 225. So here's the original pre-workout formula that I have here. Now I adjusted it a little bit, make it more of like a mid-stim, so I am also going to come out with a non-stim eventually, but this right here was something that I wanted to do because sometimes I do work out at night as well. And let's be honest, 350 milligrams of caffeine at 9 p.m. is probably not the best idea. What? So let's get to opening this bad boy here. So as I said, I use NutriSky as my manufacturer. They have been doing amazing. They send all their samples for free. So they have been sending me these tiny little tubs, which is five servings. So I am able to try it, and then I can go ahead and send it to my uh, athletes as well. So here we do have the four flavors. So we came up with peach mango rings, which we did try before. However, I wanted to try it again with the new formula. So we also had another huge request for blueberry lemonade and bringing this guy back. For those of you that don't know, this was the original pre-workout that we came out with. Totally different formula. However, blueberry lemonade was very, very good. Two other requests that we've been getting a lot lately was cherry limeade. So I'm super excited to try this one. This is the one that I'm going to try today. And then of course we have sour watermelon. I'm sure you've all had these little candies here. Now, if you're like me, you're a huge fan of them. And I also like my pre-workout to be a little sour sometimes. So sour watermelon is definitely gonna be something I wanna try. So today is gonna be cherry limeade, as I said. And then in the following videos, I'm gonna do a flavor test of each one. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Moment of truth, as I said, cherry limeade. I've been pretty excited for this guy. Cheers. It's definitely very, very cherry than limeadey or lemonade, I guess. It's good. It definitely tastes like a cherry pop. Or I'm sure, you guys all had like a cherry dum dum before. Actually, kind of impressed with this one, actually. I did not expect it to be such a strong cherry flavor, or to like actually like that. But like I said, it tastes like, like a lollipop. <laughs> as you guys saw, uh, the powder was kind of red, and this is also red as well. So that's because of the beetroot powder, so there are no dyes in our uh, pre-workout, so you don't have to worry about there being like red 40 or anything like that in there. This is how you level up. You gotta show up every fucking day. You're not as far away from these dreams as you think you are. You have to think I am the best guy out there. You need Social media is so fake, it's not even funny. I mean, look at these people here. <laughs> these are the guys that you look up to. These are the people you want to look like, even though they are blasting themselves with TRT, trends, steroids, Anabar, all that good stuff. So honestly, just look at yourself. Are you improving day in and day out? Are you looking better than you did a year ago, six months ago? Are you getting stronger? Are you getting healthier? Stop comparing yourself to these big names who are taking all these steroids or they have a diet plan or a workout plan that is made just for them and they can spend hours in the gym or hours perfecting their diet. Unfortunately, we're all busy adults. We don't have that. We always think, if I don't have less than 10% body fat, then I'm doing something wrong. If I can't bench this much, then I'm doing something wrong. Well, that's not always the case, especially if you're a natural. For example, yeah, I do want to look good because I post on social media. During the summer, I definitely look a lot better, but right now, I'm just trying to be happy. Um, fitness is not my main goal, as I'm talking about in some of my other videos. I just want to work on my business and be happy, pretty much. So I don't mind having a little bit of a belly. <laughs> My abs will come back in this summer. Anyway, let's get back to the workout. I want to show you one of my favorite rear delt movements. Get yourself a pair of light dumbbells. Just like you're doing cable flies. For 
round of actually trying the pre-workout supplements from this company. I love them. Um, <laughs> communication has been good. Uh, pre-workout has been amazing so far. But honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and give this a whirl. If you guys have any pre-workouts or any formulas that you like, send them in the comments and I want to check them out. I'm always looking to improve. So I get a lot of requests for things like DMAA, I think it is. And honestly, that is illegal for many people. So I have tons of athletes um, that actually take my pre-workouts. So they're going to be tested and it's going to come back on me because they're going to pop hot for a lot of <laughs> illegal drugs. So it is a compound that's kind of close to meth. So that's why they have like a false positive. So I have had other um, people suggest a pre-workout supplement or ingredient that was very similar. I can't remember exactly what it was called. However, I looked it up and from what I read, it said that there was a chemical compound that was very, very similar to DMAA and meth. And I figured, yeah, they'll probably pop hot again. It's only gonna be a matter of time until um, this ingredient here also gets banned. So I'd rather not put it in my pre-workout and have people get in trouble because once again, it's gonna come back on me.